Hi, I'm Laura Rogers, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to get up and running creating Power Apps inside of Microsoft Teams. First, I start off in a team in Teams, and I click the ellipsis and go to Power Apps currently in preview. And then from this screen, I can click the build button to go to the list of apps that I've already created, or as it says, I can build an app in five minutes. I can click create an app right here. When I create an app in Teams, that app does need to be in a team. So the first thing that I'm going to be prompted with is to pick a team to put the app in. I click create and it spins up my power app. I'll give it, give my app a name now. I'll call it Customers and Projects. Now, the main big difference between what you've done before in Power Apps and this new Power Apps and Teams, which is called Project Oakdale, is that there is this new way to create data sources. And it's not CDS, it's not the old common data service. This is a new type of even lighter database. So I'll create my customers table here. So you can create all of your tables here to use in your app as the data source. And you, you're just, it's an easy interface where you're directly creating your tables. So I'll go ahead and create some columns here. So that'll be that first one will be my customer name. And I'll say status. I can even give my statuses different colors. It says my data source is already saved, so I'll close this screen and now I can see that I have one little table here. I'll go ahead and add another table by clicking create new table. And this one will be my projects. I'll have multiple projects per customer. I'll rename the name column and call it project name. And then I'll just create a few extra columns around the data that I'll have about each project. And most importantly, I need a customer lookup column so that each project can be associated with a customer. If I want to edit my database, I can choose edit data here. And this is also where I can rename things. So if I want to call this customer status instead of just status. And maybe I want to call this one customer name instead of just name. I can also directly enter my data from this screen. I can use the add row button up here and the add, nice easy add column or I can just simply keep typing down the page. I can even select a specific row and insert a row above or below it. Now that I have some customers, you can see in this app, the first screen that exists already has a gallery showing my customers and it has a blank form where I can decide what I want the new customer form to look like. Now this customer list is very, very simple. It only has a couple of fields, but I'll show you what it looks like to go ahead and add those fields. So I've got my customer name and my customer status. I'll add those. And now I can see when I preview the app, it 
toggles to the right customer as I select each one. It already has a new record button to fill in a new customer. And then whichever customer I have selected, it already has an edit button for me to be able to edit those existing customers. So a lot of the things that, um, not only do we have a new way of working in our data source, uh, this nice easy list of tables for Project Oakdale, we also have some great little built-in things in the Power App that make it easy to get up and running creating your galleries and forms. I can go ahead and give this screen a title. It has a spot here just for that. And from here on, most of the things that I'll be doing in this Power App or are the things that I'll usually do in my Power Apps and my Canvas apps, building all of my screens out, building my galleries and my forums and all the logic. Um, I want to go ahead and keep highlighting just the things that are new in Project Oakdale though. So I'll go ahead and save my app and I'll publish it to Teams. All right, now when I publish it to Teams, it's prompting me, it's asking me which channel I'd like to save it to. So I'll go ahead and choose the, there's only one channel in this particular team. So I'll go ahead and add that. Now I can toggle back over here to my home screen and I can even see that they've provided some apps for me. So you can get started with some of these templates if you like employee ideas, inspection and issue reporting. And instead of going through the steps I just did to build my own tables, you can try just using Microsoft's apps that they are providing for you here. Now I can toggle back to my team. And I can see that when I published and I published to Teams and I chose which uh, channel that I wanted to publish it to, now my Customers and Projects app is right here in my team on its own tab. It's not the prettiest of apps. It's not the most complex of apps, but it shows you how to get up and running this new concept of building tables directly in Teams and building your app directly in Teams and publishing it. Check out iwmentor.com for all of my Power Apps basic and advanced training. My Power Apps advanced class is all about Canvas apps and it is about 12 hours long. It's extremely detailed.